What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at problem 181 employees earning more than the managers on lead code. Database question, mark this easy and one of the most frequently asked by big tech companies. So let's get into it. Okay, we just have one table called employee that holds all employees information including their managers. Every employee has an ID and there's also a column for the manager ID. So we have information about an employee as in the first row Joe, ID 1, the salary and then their manager ID and that manager also shows up in that table. In this case row 3, Sam, that is the, uh, the manager of Joe in this case. Now the problem statement is given the employee table write a SQL query that finds out employees who earn more than their managers. Strictly more, keep that in mind, so we're going to use greater than instead of greater or equal. For the above table, Joe is the only employee who earns more than his manager. So for this example that we see up here, the result would be Joe as Joe earns 70,000 and Sam just 60,000. You can also see that some people don't have a manager assigned. These are probably the managers. But maybe it could be the case that there are middle managers and managers of these managers. But in this case, it seems more simple than that. So in the end, what we want to do for this question is compare salary of, in this case, Joe to his manager, Sam. And that would be easiest done by just having a greater than or smaller than sign between that. And that would give us a true or false statement and we could use that to filter our table and give out the result. So we somehow want to get Joe's salary and his manager's salary into the same row to be able to compare that. And there's really only one good way to do this, which is a self-join, and this is where the question leads to and is probably why it's asked that frequently, because people often want to know if you're able to do a self-join and recognize the situation and use that to your advantage. So let's get to writing some code. We want to select in the end employee, but let's do star first to get a good picture from that table employee. And in order to get manager information attached to that employee information, we want to self join. So we need an alias for each of these employee tables because otherwise there wouldn't be a way to differentiate them could use as in here, but I think that reads just fine. Employee E1 to an employee E2. We could name them maybe E or M for manager, or just write that out entirely. But in this case, I'm just going to use E1, E2. That is something you see a lot when using self joins, and I think it should be um, enough for people to understand what we're doing here. We're going to join on IDs. In this case, we want to specify the alias to know which table we're talking to since we have the same fields. And in this case, the manager ID should be the ID of the second table. So in this case, we match a row manager ID. For example, in the first row, we have Joe and the manager ID is three. And we're going to use that field to match with the ID in the second table, which is the same as the first, and we get the third row where ID is 3 for Sam. So in the end, we're going to get a table which looks like the first table and appends the table again by looking at the manager ID and ID. So let's just run that in order to visualize it. So this gives us the wrong answer still, but that is pretty much an int intermediate step here. So we have Joe, the ID, the name, the salary, the manager ID. Then we have that manager ID again, which is the ID here, so because we join manager ID and ID. Um, and then we just have that row for Sam. So we have Sam, their salary, and now for manager ID, because they don't have a manager. So maybe to visualize that better, we could just take 
e1 id e1.name e1.salary and then e2 id e2 name and e2 salary so that reduces the fields a bit and we have one Joe who earns 70k and then three Sam who earns 60k all right and now we just need to compare salary of e1 and e2 and see if e1 is greater than e2 because that means an employee earns more than their manager so in order to do that uh, we're gonna use E1 salary and E2 salary and put that in the WHERE clause because that is the filtering condition. And E1.salary should be, as I said, greater than E2.salary. Not greater or equal, but strictly greater because the statement says employees who earn more than their managers. Okay, so that would limit the statement and would only include Joe in this case and not Henry which was in the in the result before and we see that we still have all the fields but we only get Joe which we want so in order to reduce it to just Joe we're just gonna select e1.name and that should give us the result of the query one more thing we need to add is an alias for the field e1.name because that should be called employee now. That is a thing lead code sometimes does as to not give away which field you need but in this case it was quite easy because we only have one uh, string field and name. That is the solution to lead code number 181. You could also change that up and put in and here instead of a where and it becomes part of the join condition and that might be able to speed up your query a bit, but yeah, both, both give the same solution and um, there might actually be a difference here between using and and where you, when you're using a left join, but in this case it doesn't, doesn't make a difference. But I think from a logical point of view and how I approach the problem and creating that sub result first, it does make sense to use where here because you just join that entire um, table with itself and then check that condition to be able to uh, select Joe as an employee. If you would use AND, the entire condition would be done in the join already and that might um, be able to speed it up a bit. For this case, this is totally fine and gives you the right result. As you can see, I'm gonna submit it and get an accepted answer. That has been it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions, otherwise I'll see you in the next video. Bye.